Okay, in this screencast, we're going to set up some groups for a group discussion board. So only members of a certain group can participate in a discussion for peer review. So the first thing you'll need to do is define your groups. So we'll go to Control Panel. And under User Management here, you have this Manage Groups function. So you'll hit this, Manage Groups. And we have no groups yet defined, so we'll define group. Um, and you can give them what, whatever names you want. It should be descriptive. So why don't we call this um, group one, research track, whatever you wanted. Um, and this could be changed. And then you hear, well, you could then describe what this group does, which is a good idea. And then you have some options here. A group discussion board. Um, don't hit group virtual classroom. That's not um, used here at the college. Um, group file exchange. Maybe they want to exchange back files. I usually don't do that. I usually do do group email so they can easily send each other email. And the group's available. So we'll put submit and OK. So now we have one group. You have to now put the members in the group. So we'll do modify. We'll add users to the group. We'll list everyone in the course. Here we have four students, so we'll put the first two. We know that they happen to be in the group. Hit Submit. Hit OK. So now we have our first group defined. We need to do our second group. This is group two. Um, and let's say this evaluation track. And we did a group discussion board, group email, submit, OK. We're going to modify and add users to the group, list all, and these David and Emily. So now we have, um, we have our groups. We have two groups with people in them. So now what we need to do is make a place where they can communicate with each other. Um, our group discussion board. So we're going to go and we're going to add a group discussions area. So we're going to hit control panel and we're going to add this in, manage course menu. We're going to add a content area and we'll call this group discussion. Group discussion and hit submit. Hit OK. Now we could we could put this wherever we want. We'll do it number two. How about that? Okay, so we have group discussion we see here. So you'll go into that empty content area, hit edit view, so you can see your areas. And under the drop down, we have this ability to do group. So hit group, we'll hit go. And now you can select your, your groups. So we can do group one and hit next. Group one research track, call that discussion. And again, you could give them some information and hit submit, hit OK. So then they would go into this area to get into their discussion board. OK. So they would go into there. And the professor can see all of them. And then we'll do uh, the group two discussion. And hit submit. Hit OK. And here we have both groups. So that, that's how the students would go in. They'd only see their own group. OK. But the professors would see all the groups. Okay? And that's how we do our, our groups.